Good to know. <laughs> Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for this week's arranging video with this arrangement called the Mad Hatter because the colours of it perfectly evoke that of Alice in Wonderland in Lewis Carroll's 1865 book. Now always remember to look after your flowers using these simple steps. Trim a diagonal inch off the end of all your stems, use clean room temperature water and a nice clean vase and do make sure you use clean secateurs or floral scissors. To arrange, we're gonna start with our shorter flowers around the edge, working our way to our taller flowers in the middle. So our shorter ones are our brassica and our roses, and they're our focal flowers, and I've made sure to have three of each of those, because threes tend to be nicer with your focal flowers. Now, first of all, our three brassica, evenly around the edge. Very simply, I'm gonna fill the gaps with my roses. And this creates what I like to call my TP in the middle, which is very strong and structural and allows other things to stand up in. Now it's okay to have two Alstroemeria because they've got lots of heads, so we're gonna face these opposite each other, still on the edge of the vase and adding to the stem grid. And then I'm gonna stand my taller Lysianthus upright in the middle using the stem grid for support. There's now a lot of structure going on in the vase so I can dot my irises easily throughout and they'll stand up nicely. Then I like to create a foliagey ruff around the top of the vase neck, which just gives a nice bit of depth to the arrangement. And there we go, a perfectly structured arrangement looking very, very pretty indeed. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.